every new beginning comes from some other beginnings end so never worry let's welcome every beginning a beautiful morning to all today we are going to begin a new chapter a very interesting chapter is it will help you in every sphere of your life our today's topic is how to introduce yourself or self introduction okay as an english learner one of the most important thing you must know is the self introduction actually the self introduction in a particular or perfect way proper way so let's start this in this session i am going to teach you the for the proper structure of self introduction here you have to go through several steps to introduce yourself properly the first step is greet or greetings we can divide greetings into two steps as formal greetings or informal greetings formal greeting are like that you are greet to your elders as good morning good afternoon it is good morning ma'am good morning sir your elders uh, he or she may be your teacher your interviewer okay then the informal greetings are hi ram what's up hello these are the informal greetings when you are uh, talking about your friends your uh, youngers you can use informal greetings okay then the second step is name you have to tell your name as i am kavita behra this is kavita behra myself kavita behra my name is kavita behra this four steps this is my name i am myself the four steps through the four steps you can introduce your name as i have taken example this is kavita behra my name is kavita behra i am kavita behra myself kavita behra the above three are formal chale the above three are formal and the last one is grammatically wrong the more applicable sentence is i am kavita behra and my name is kavita behra this is kavita behra we use in informal case and these two are formals okay and the last one myself kavita behra is grammatically wrong is myself is itself a uh, relative pronoun myself is a relative pronoun and we cannot use any noun or pronoun after any pronoun okay here myself is grammatically wrong you should not use myself kavita behra you should use this is kavita behra my name is kavita behra i am kavita behra this is this is actually informal informal okay these two are formal okay after that let's go to the third step the third step is place a location from where you belong to from where you bale belong to actually i have taken an example i belong to rupsa i am from rupsa or baleswar e bhali apan kahi paribe i belong to rupsa the place or location ko apan indicate kari kahi paribe thik achi then let's go to the fourth step the fourth step is educational qualification okay actually to introduce your educational qualification you have to tell from lower level to higher level lower level to higher level means first matriculation then chsc plus 2 then graduation then post graduation then others okay here i have taken an example 
I have completed my matriculation in 2020 from BSc Odisha. The another example, if you are a computer literate, I will example I am a computer literate. I am continuing my summer classes. If you are continuing still, now I am continuing my summer classes. And also, I can say I have been pursuing my graduation. My graduation is complete, but I am pursuing it. Continuing Then the fifth stage is family background. Here I can say I have five family members in my family. We are five members in my family. I also uh, tell that we are five members in my family, such as my parents, two sisters, and me. Okay. Then the sixth stage is strength and weakness. You have to speak your strength and weakness. As the example is, my strength is I love to study books, newspaper and blogs. Here I have taken another example of my weakness. My weakness is I do my work within given time. Okay. Actually, you should uh, take both strength and weakness in a positive sense. But a positive sense, I will tell you. Okay. Now, let's go to the seventh stage. The seventh stage is hobbies. You have to tell your hobbies. As I have taken an example. I like to play cricket. My hobbies are painting, playing cricket and swimming. Okay, you can also take several other examples of it. Then the next step is ambition. You have to tell your ambition in the self-introduction. As an example is, I would like to be a teacher. I would like to be a doctor. My ambition is to become a businessman. Okay, then the ninth step is ending. You have to ending, you have to end the former, the self-introduction in such a manner. That's all about me. Thank you. Okay. This is the nine steps that you should follow to introduce yourself or self-introduction. Okay. I am introducing myself following these formats. H. Good morning all. I am Kavita Behera. I belong to Rupsa Baleswar. I have completed my matriculation from BSc board in 2009 in first division. I have completed my graduation from FM University in 2014. I have six members in my family. My strength and weakness is that I love to work hard. Okay, this is all about me. Thank you. It is all about the self-introduction and introducing yourself. How to introducing yourself. Okay. That is the video. If there is some query, jodi apanko kichi kosto lage ba kichi query ba kichi oshubidha ase, then ask me in the comment section. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.